Well, hi everybody, this is Julia and I'm back with a new video for you where I want to show you how to do precise watercoloring using a blender pen. I'm starting out with this rubber stamp by Penny Black. They have some gorgeous floral stamps and they are super easy to color in no matter which medium you use. I used my favorite things black hybrid ink, that's the licorice ink, um, because that works wonderfully with watercolors. And I'm using blender pens. I have a Dove blender pen and one from Stamping Up. They both work exactly the same. Um, and I'm going to be using real watercolors, my Gansai Tambi watercolors, but you can use any watercolors that you have. I added a drop of water into the um, watercolor um, pan there and then I'm just picking up the ink with my blender pen that has a like a blender solution in it and I'm just as you can see that I'm really just picking up a tiny little bit of ink then I'm cleaning off my um, blender pen to the side on a scratch piece of paper and then I'm blending the color out and I'm even uh, and I'm even cleaning off my pen twice to just to make sure that I get the residual ink of the um, the tip of the blender pen so I can blend from dark to light. You can see just how easy this is and how quick it goes and especially how precise you can be because for me, even if I use um, a very small brush with a very firm tip, I always have the problem that um, I somehow go outside of the lines or you know, like I have too much water and then it's a mess or I have too little water and then it's too intense. And with the pen, it's basically you're using a pen, like, you know, like any pen that you would use. And uh, it allows, at least for me, it allows me to be super precise with what I'm doing. You can see here that I even added uh, the ink into multiple sections at once, just I'm like doing, I'm like doing it here. You know, I'm adding uh, all the, uh, not the ink, of course, the watercolor, and then I'm blending this out in one go. And you can see I'm always cleaning off my, um, the blender pen off to the side. You have to experiment with your watercolor paper and your watercolors for how long they stay wet because obviously um, it's not super wet. You know, I didn't want the colors to run out. really wanted to have a lot of control. Here I'm picking up uh, the, some yellow watercolor and I'm just blending this in here because I wanted to have some more warmth um, to, this, um, to these flowers. You can see it's super easy and I'm, I can be super, I mean, I still managed to go out of the lines, to be honest, because just I was not paying enough attention. I always have my iPad running off to the side and, you know, sometimes the movie gets really interesting and then I just keep coloring, but I don't watch what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I, I'm a little bit weird. And here I'm just coming in with some orange. I didn't want to come back in with the red because I felt that would overpower the yellow. So I'm just adding in a little bit more orange into the middle. And because these are watercolors, um, they blend it really nicely. Um, and then I'm actually coming in with my polychromos pencils. You can use any colored pencils that you've already got. Um, and I'm just adding a tiny little bit of detail here, like just some strokes basically. And I'm doing the same here with the orange and you can see that I'm adding some really fine strokes here. The goal was not to intensify the color, it was to add a little bit more detail. It's very subtle, you won't notice it if you don't look too closely though. Now for putting the card uh, together, I just uh, added a strip of pattern paper here. I just love this um, very bold um, color. And there's some double-sided adhesive sticking out to the side where I added this and I'm pouring some glitter on top of this. And then I'm just adding a lot of adhesive to my watercolor panel and now I'm adding this to my card base here. At least I'm trying to. And of course I still need a sentiment. I'm using one from Paper Smooches um, and Versafine ink because, you know, that's always, that's my favorite ink for sentiments because it's so nice and rich and black. And then I decided to go in with my Wink of Stella pen. You can see I'm cleaning it off to the side to make sure that I'm not dragging the darker orange into the bright yellow. And I'm not going over the Versafine ink because that would definitely smudge it. Um, but I'm just adding a tiny little shimmer of, of, of gl glitter here. And then of course I grabbed my white gel pen because I couldn't help myself and added some white dots into the darkest areas of the leaves. And I will later do this as well on the flowers. I think I will add this in the bright part of the flowers as you can see here. And just that adds a tiny little bit uh, more interest. Actually, this is the second card I made um, this way. This is the first card that I made. Um, 
you know, you can see very similar style. It just varied it a bit when I put it together for a card. But you can quickly do a lot of these. Um, you can use any colors that you want and you can have a lot of success with watercolors simply by using one of those blender pens instead of a regular pencil brush. That's what I mean, a regular brush. So I hope you got inspired and um, you liked the video. And I'll hope you I hope to catch you again soon. I can't talk anymore. It's been a while since I've done these voiceovers. Here are a few, for a few more videos for you to check out. Thank you for watching, guys, and catch you later. Bye-bye.